So I decided to go back to one of my local comic book shops where I found a whole bunch of great key comics in the dollar bins. And once again, I went diving through and I found more gems hidden in these dollar bins. I guess no one else is picking through them because I found a bunch of great books and I can't wait to show you in today's video, so stay tuned. So as you saw, I went back to one of my local comic book shops and I went diving through the dollar bins once again. That first time, I went through the entire top row and this time I had the chance to go through the entire bottom row of boxes. And once again, I found some amazing books. So these dollar bins, they are priced $1 per comic, but if you buy 12, you only pay $10. So I ended up getting 24 books for $20. That's about 85 cents or so per book. I think I found some amazing finds and I can't wait to show you in today's video. Before we get to the haul, of course, if you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. Now let's check out everything I picked up, starting off with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, issue number nine. This book is an actually pretty high grade. It's a gorgeous looking copy. Uh, typically I see these sell from anywhere to three to five up to like eight or $10. And I was able to grab this for 85 cents. This was an awesome find. I'm a big fan of these Godzilla books and I am working on completing this run. And this is one that I needed. So very happy about that. This next book would have been a really good find, but this is in pretty low grade, unfortunately. It's got a lot of spine ticks and, and color breaks and some chipping. You know, it's, it's in pretty rough shape, but I figured I would save it, you know, from the dollar bin. This is Battlestar Galactica issue number one, and this is the Whitman variant. It has the blank UPC, also has the yellow diamond and the 35 cent price. Uh, so, you know, first Battlestar Galactica, it's a great book. Unfortunately, this is a bit of a reader copy. I also found The Falcon, issue number one. This is The Falcon's first solo series. It's a four-part uh, limited series, and uh, this book is pretty popular. You know, typically you can find issues two, three, and four in dollar bins all the time, but you don't always find issue number one. Uh, so I was happy to find this one. Not too bad. All right, also found Blazing Battle Action with Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, issue 140. Uh, this book also is in pretty decent shape. It has a little chip here, and it also had a sticker right there, which I removed, but unfortunately it stained the cover. Uh, besides that, it's a pretty sharp looking book. It's not a key or anything crazy, but it's a nice little Bronze Age Sergeant Fury book for less than a dollar. I figured I'd pick it up. This next book here is pretty cool. This is a minor key from The Invaders, issue number 11. That's in a mid-grade, I guess I would say. And this is The Origin of Spitfire. Not a bad find. Uh, you know, in mid-grade, it's like a $5 book or so. And uh, happy to grab that for less than a buck. Very cool cover as well with the blue bullet. Also, another cool book here. This is Invaders, issue number 16. Also like another mid-grade copy, but this is the first appearance of Julia Koenig, uh, who in the next issue turns into Warrior Woman. So a nice little first appearance book here. It's got a crazy cover and uh, happy to find this one. You know, a little minor key first appearance, definitely worth more than a dollar. I also grabbed a couple of these books here because I'm working on finishing this run. Uh, this is John Carter, Warlord of Mars, issue number eight. Um, this one's in a little bit of more of a mid-grade, uh, but not too bad for less than a buck. But I also grabbed issue number nine. This one's in very high grade. Uh, you know, the other one was pretty rough looking, but this one is pretty minty. Uh, no, not a key or anything special, just, a, just something to fill a hole in the run. Also grabbed issue number 10, also in a pretty nice condition. And this was a great find here. This is issue number 11. This is the origin of Deja Thoris. It's got a beautiful cover. You know, it's uh, that good girl bondage cover. Of course, everybody loves that kind of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it does have some chipping on the front cover here on the right side. 
But besides that, it's a pretty sharp looking book with an amazing cover. And this book has some decent value. Um, you know, this one is definitely more of a mid-grade, lower grade book, but still happy to grab it for less than a buck for that kind of cover. Pretty awesome. They also had issue number 20, just another run filler. Uh, another book here that's pretty funny, pretty interesting. Uh, this is Mad Balls, issue number two. This was a three-part miniseries. Uh, Mad Balls, if uh, you might remember, was this creepy little toy, uh, like a squishy uh, zombie monster ball. Uh, very interesting uh, from the 80s. Very cool. A lot of people really like these. It's got a little bit of a cult following. And uh, I saw this issue here. I, th I had to grab it. I think Mad Balls are so cool. So issue number two, it's got a really cool cover as well. All right, moving on to a modern book. This is the all new Hawkeye issue number one. This has, is uh, the Phantom variant. Uh, it's an exclusive and it's got a beautiful cover. Uh, you know, definitely worth uh, more than a dollar. Uh, I just really enjoyed the cover. Uh, with Kate Bishop, and I had to grab it. Really, really cool. Uh, it's a, an exclusive variant as well, so not too bad for less than a dollar. This was a really cool find here. Uh, in the dollar bins in the last video, I found Jay and Silent Bob uh, comic book. Well, here I found this time was Clerks issue number one. This is the first comic book adaptation of the movie Clerks. Uh, just a classic movie and such an awesome uh, thing to find because I'm a huge fan of um, Clerks and Mallrats and Jane Silent Bob and, you know, Kevin Smith in general. So really excited to find this one. Uh, this is the uh, first comic book adaptation for the movie Clerks by Oni Press. Really, really cool. This was a nice find as well. This is Fantastic Four issue 348. This is the first uh, cover appearance of the new Fantastic Four with Ghost Rider, Grey Hulk, Spidey, and Wolverine. Really, really cool. Uh, this book is, you know, it's a white cover and it's got a little bit of staining. So it's not the highest grade, but for less than a dollar, this is a nice little uh, minor key to grab. I also grabbed this little book here. This is Superboy issue zero. This is the first cameo appearance of Tiger Shark. Just a classic DC, you know, 90s uh, minor key book. I figured I'd pick it up. It's in very high grade. I also picked up another copy of this. I got this last time I was diving through the dollar bins. I saw another one. I figured I'd grab it. You know, there's something cool to put in my for sale pile or to do some trading with. This is Batman and Spawn, War Devil. Nice, uh, thick graphic novel type book. It's got an awesome cover. It's a cool story. And I figured I'd grab another copy for less than a dollar when this typically sells for around $10 to $15. All right. This was an awesome find here. This is Thundercats issue number 20. It's in a newsstand. And this is one of the later issues in the series. This has a pretty low print run. This is a scarce book here. Um, to find this in the dollar bin, I think, was pretty awesome. Uh, it's got some good value just for being low print later in the run. Uh, happy to find this one. It's in pretty high grade. It has like a little tiny chip out of the corner there. Uh, besides that, pretty nice looking book. Happy to find Thundercats issue number 20 in a newsstand. We also found some cool Transformers books. Uh, this one's got a handful of spine ticks, but this is issue number seven. It's got a cool cover. And, you know, anytime I find Transformers uh, this run in the uh, dollar bins, I typically grab them because they typically sell for at least three or four or five dollars or more if it's one of the keys. So issue number seven, uh, they also had another copy of issue number seven. This one's in a little bit better condition than the last. So I might keep one and I might trade or sell one. Also found issue number nine. This is the first appearance of Circuit Breaker. So it's a little first appearance, a little minor key for the run. Uh, they also had another copy. So two issues of issue number nine, first appearance of uh, Circuit Breaker. And these are in decent condition. They also had issue number 32 in a newsstand. 
I uh, got a little dino bot in the bot in the box up top there. Really cool book. Uh, you know, a little bit later in the run as well. Not a super low print run, but still very cool to find that one in the dollar bin. And then the last book, in no particular order, this is uh, the Transformers Headmasters. Uh, this is a four-part miniseries. This is issue number two. It's not anything special, but it's just another, uh, you know, miniseries from these um 80s, 90s uh, Transformers run. So happy to find that one for a dollar. You know, we found some cool books. We got Transformers. We got Thundercats. We got some John Carter. We got, you know, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm trying to think which I really like this cover here. You know, some pretty cool books in here for less than a dollar. You know, I really enjoy diving through dollar bins. And, you know, when you can find stuff like this, uh, it's, it's so satisfying. You know, the thrill of the hunt is definitely my favorite part. Uh, I was watching a video from somebody uh, the other day and they were talking about how, you know, the thrill of the hunt is what makes comic book collecting, you know, most enjoyable. Once you get the comic and you bring it home, you just throw it in a box. You know, do you really enjoy the comic after you're done reading it and looking at it? You know, it just goes back in its bag and board, goes in a box. I, You know, that thrill, that excitement of hunting for the next book to add to your collection, that's the best part of comic book collecting, at least in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about that? So that is my dollar comic book haul from one of my local comic book shops. They are called Conquest Comics. They're in Bayville, New Jersey. Definitely, if you're in the area, give them, you know, check them out. Um, of course, my main LCS is Comic Relief in Tom's River, New Jersey. That's where I typically go. But this one is not too far from that other shop. And, uh, you know, I figured I would swing by, see what they had in the dollar bins. Uh, you know, I did the first time. I found some amazing books. I went back. I searched through the next set of dollar bins, and I found even more great books. So I'll give it a little bit more time, you know, a couple weeks or a couple months, and I'll go back and see if they refilled those dollar bins with more good stuff, and I'll make another video for all you out there. So I hope you enjoyed today's comic book haul. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.